21 Famous Actors You Will Never See Again Welcome to our channel. Have you ever wondered what happens to beloved stars after their time in the spotlight ends? In today's video, we reveal the intriguing stories of 21 famous actors you will never see again on the big screen. From sudden retirements and personal battles to career-damaging scandals, join us as we explore the reasons behind their disappearance from Hollywood. Get ready to uncover the hidden chapters of their lives and understand why these icons have stepped away from the limelight. Katherine Heigl Katherine Heigl rose to fame through her role as Dr. Izzy Stevens on Grey's Anatomy, which earned her an Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actress in 2007. However, her career took a controversial turn when she publicly withdrew from Emmy contention in 2008, citing dissatisfaction with the material provided for her character that season. This sparked tension with the show's creator, Shonda Rhimes, and contributed to Heigl's departure from the series. After leaving Grey's Anatomy, Heigl's career struggled to regain its previous momentum. She starred in a series of underperforming films, including New Year's Eve and The Big Wedding, which were met with poor reviews from both audiences and critics. Despite her early success, Heigl's career trajectory faced challenges, and she admitted feeling judged for her film and TV choices, describing the industry as fickle. In interviews, Heigl has expressed frustration with how she was perceived, often feeling misunderstood in the roles she selected. While she once enjoyed a high level of fame, she now acknowledges the difficulty of returning to that level of success in Hollywood. Her experience highlights the unpredictable nature of celebrity and the pressures of maintaining a successful career in the entertainment industry. Despite these setbacks, Heigl remains a significant figure, known for her talent and candidness about the difficulties of navigating fame. Cameron Diaz Cameron Diaz, once a Hollywood powerhouse, made her mark with iconic roles in films like The Mask, Charlie's Angels, and There's Something About Mary. Known for her charm and versatility, she became a leading actress throughout the 1990s and 2000s. However, in 2014, Diaz made the surprising decision to retire from acting, choosing to focus on her personal life and well-being. In 2015, she married musician Benji Madden, and the couple welcomed their daughter, Radix, in 2020. Diaz has expressed immense joy in her role as a mother, stating that motherhood is the best part of her life. She has since embraced a quieter lifestyle, largely stepping away from the Hollywood spotlight to concentrate on her family. Alongside her family life, Diaz has also channeled her energy into health and wellness. She co-authored two books, The Body Book and The Longevity Book, which focus on health, self-care, and embracing a positive body image. Diaz remains passionate about encouraging others to prioritize their well-being, advocating for balance rather than perfection. Although she was once a staple in blockbuster films, Diaz has shown no interest in returning to acting. Her decision reflects a desire for personal fulfillment beyond fame, with Diaz explaining that while she loved her acting career, it was not her everything. Today, she remains content with her life away from the limelight, enjoying the simple pleasures of family, health, and personal happiness. Michael Richards Michael Richards rose to fame for his portrayal of Cosmo Kramer on Seinfeld, one of the most successful sitcoms in television history. His character's wild physical comedy, unpredictable antics, and eccentric charm made him a fan favorite and cemented his place as a comedic icon. Throughout the show's nine-season run, Richards received critical acclaim and several awards for his performance, making him a standout in the ensemble cast. At the height of his career, Seinfeld was a cultural phenomenon, and Richards was beloved for his ability to make audiences laugh with his offbeat humor. However, in 2006, Richards' career suffered a major blow following an incident at a comedy club. During a stand-up routine, Richards responded to hecklers with a racist outburst that was recorded and quickly spread online. 
the video sparked widespread outrage, with both fans and fellow comedians condemning his behavior. Richards attempted to apologize for his actions, notably appearing on The Late Show with David Letterman, where he expressed deep regret and emphasized that he was not a racist. Despite these efforts, the damage to his reputation was already done. Since the incident, Richards has kept a relatively low profile in Hollywood. While he has made occasional guest appearances, such as on Jerry Seinfeld's Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee, he has not returned to the prominence he once enjoyed. The event continues to overshadow his legacy, serving as a cautionary tale about the lasting consequences of public missteps. Richards's story highlights how one moment can drastically alter a career, particularly in the age of social media and instant outrage. Roseanne Barr Roseanne Barr broke new ground with her hit sitcom, Roseanne, which first aired in 1988 and ran for nine seasons. The show, which she both starred in and co-created, was praised for its honest portrayal of a working-class American family, and Barr's character, Roseanne Connor, became a relatable and beloved figure. The show's success earned her a Golden Globe and made her a prominent voice in television, known for pushing boundaries with her bold and often controversial humor. Barr was a trailblazer, offering a fresh perspective on middle America that resonated with millions of viewers. In 2018, Barr's career took a dramatic and irreversible turn after she posted a tweet comparing Valerie Jarrett, a former advisor to President Obama, to an ape. The tweet was widely condemned as racist, and within hours, ABC canceled the revival of Roseanne, despite its strong ratings. Barr initially blamed her actions on the effects of the medication Ambien, but the damage was done. The network distanced itself from her, and the show continued without her, rebranded as The Connors. This incident marked the sudden downfall of a once pioneering career. Despite attempts to apologize, Barr has not been able to recover her standing in the entertainment industry. Her political outspokenness and controversial views further alienated parts of her audience. The scandal surrounding her tweet became a defining moment in her legacy, overshadowing her earlier achievements in television. Barr's fall from grace is a stark example of how quickly public opinion can turn, especially in the era of social media, where a single misstep can have immediate and far-reaching consequences. Bill Cosby Bill Cosby, once celebrated as America's dad, gained immense fame for his role as Dr. Cliff Huxtable on The Cosby Show, which aired from 1984 to 1992. The show was a groundbreaking success, depicting a successful African-American family and earning Cosby numerous awards and accolades. His career spanned decades, with achievements in stand-up comedy, television, and education advocacy. Cosby became a beloved figure, known for his clean humor and positive influence on television, especially in terms of diversity and family values. However, Cosby's legacy was irrevocably damaged when multiple women came forward accusing him of sexual assault. Over 60 women alleged that Cosby drugged and assaulted them over several decades, leading to a highly publicized trial. In 2018, Cosby was convicted on three counts of aggravated indecent assault and sentenced to three to ten years in prison. His conviction sent shockwaves through Hollywood, and networks pulled reruns of The Cosby Show, while institutions revoked honors and awards he had received throughout his career. In 2021, Cosby's conviction was overturned due to a procedural error, and he was released after serving just two years. Despite his release, the damage to his career and reputation remains severe. The public's perception of him has shifted from that of a beloved entertainer to a symbol of a deeply troubling chapter in Hollywood's history. Many believe that Cosby's return to the spotlight is impossible, as the shadow of the allegations continues to loom over his once illustrious career. Paula Dean. Paula Dean rose to fame as a celebrity chef, 
known for her Southern-style cooking and warm, inviting personality. Her cooking shows, particularly Paula's home cooking on the Food Network, made her a household name. Dean's charm and signature recipes, rich in butter and comfort food traditions, earned her a dedicated following. Her success led to cookbooks, product lines, and restaurant ventures, establishing her as one of the most recognizable faces in culinary television. However, Dean's career took a steep decline in 2013 when she became embroiled in a lawsuit accusing her of using racial slurs and creating a hostile work environment. During a deposition, Dean admitted to using the N-word in the past, explaining that it was reflective of her upbringing in the racially segregated South. Her admission caused a massive public backlash, and sponsors and business partners, including the Food Network, quickly severed ties with her. The scandal effectively ended her reign as a dominant figure in the culinary world. Despite multiple apologies and efforts to rehabilitate her public image, Dean has not returned to the prominence she once held. Her brand suffered irreparable damage, with many of her endorsements and television deals disappearing overnight. Though she still operates a few business ventures, her legacy is forever tarnished by the controversy, which highlighted the importance of cultural sensitivity and the swift consequences of past actions in the public sphere. T.J. Miller T.J. Miller first gained widespread recognition for his role as Ehrlich Bachman on the critically acclaimed HBO series Silicon Valley. His sharp wit and distinctive comedic style made him a standout character, contributing significantly to the show's success. Additionally, Miller showcased his versatility by portraying the talkative Wade Wilson in the blockbuster film Deadpool, where his performance was praised for adding depth and humor to the anti-hero's narrative. These roles cemented Miller's reputation as a talented and dynamic actor in both television and film. However, Miller's career faced significant setbacks due to a series of controversies and personal issues. He became embroiled in multiple allegations of inappropriate behavior and misconduct, which severely tarnished his public image. In 2018, Miller was arrested for making a false bomb threat on an Amtrak train, an incident that further damaged his reputation and led to increased scrutiny from both the public and industry professionals. Additionally, former co-stars described him as a bully and petulant brat, citing instances of unprofessional behavior on set. These controversies led to his removal from upcoming projects, including Deadpool 3, and diminished his standing in Hollywood. Since these incidents, T.J. Miller has kept a relatively low profile, making sporadic appearances and attempting to rebuild his career. Despite his undeniable talent, the accumulation of negative press and legal troubles has made it challenging for him to secure significant roles in major productions. Miller's story serves as a stark reminder of how personal conduct and public behavior can dramatically impact an actor's career trajectory. While he continues to work in the industry, the shadow of his past actions looms large, making his return to mainstream success uncertain. Daniel Day-Lewis Daniel Day-Lewis is widely regarded as one of the most talented actors of his generation, known for his intense method acting and commitment to his craft. He has earned three Academy Awards for Best Actor for his performances in My Left Foot, There Will Be Blood, and Lincoln, each role showcasing his ability to deeply inhabit complex characters. Day-Lewis's dedication to authenticity and his meticulous preparation for roles have set him apart in the film industry, earning him critical acclaim and a devoted fan base. After a prolific career spanning over four decades, Day-Lewis made the surprising decision to retire from acting in 2017. His retirement was motivated by a desire to lead a more secluded and balanced life, away from the relentless demands of Hollywood. In interviews, he emphasized that his personal life and well-being took precedence over his professional achievements. This decision marked the end of an era, as Day-Lewis stepped away from the spotlight, 
leaving behind a legacy of unforgettable performances and artistic excellence. Since retiring, Daniel Day-Lewis has pursued personal interests outside of acting, including shoemaking in Italy, which reflects his appreciation for craftsmanship and creativity beyond the silver screen. His departure from the entertainment industry has only heightened his legendary status, as fans and critics alike continue to celebrate his contributions to film. Day-Lewis's legacy endures through his remarkable body of work, and his choice to prioritize personal fulfillment serves as an inspiring example of redefining success on one's own terms. Despite his absence from acting, his influence remains profound, solidifying his place as a true icon in cinematic history. Felicity Huffman Felicity Huffman gained widespread acclaim for her portrayal of Lynette Scavo on the hit television series Desperate Housewives. Her character, a smart and resourceful mother navigating the complexities of suburban life, resonated with audiences and earned Huffman numerous accolades, including a Primetime Emmy Award. Beyond television, Huffman showcased her versatility in films such as Transamerica and Beauty Shop, solidifying her reputation as a talented and dedicated actress. Her ability to blend humor with emotional depth made her a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. In 2019, Huffman's career faced a significant downturn when she became embroiled in the college admission scandal. It was revealed that she had paid $15,000 to a consultant to fraudulently secure a spot for her daughter at the University of Southern California by manipulating her SAT scores. This revelation led to her arrest and subsequent guilty plea to one count of conspiracy to commit mail fraud and honest services fraud. The scandal not only tarnished her public image, but also sparked a broader conversation about privilege and fairness in higher education. Huffman was sentenced to 14 days in prison, a $30,000 fine, and 250 hours of community service, marking a dramatic fall from grace for the acclaimed actress. Following her release, Huffman has struggled to regain her footing in Hollywood. The scandal overshadowed her previous achievements, making it challenging for her to secure significant roles in major productions. While she has expressed remorse for her actions and the impact they had on her career, the stigma of the scandal continues to linger. Huffman's experience serves as a stark reminder of the consequences that unethical behavior can have on even the most successful individuals. Despite the setbacks, she remains a notable figure, with her legacy now intertwined with both her professional accomplishments and the controversy that led to her downfall. Charlie Sheen Charlie Sheen rose to prominence as a versatile actor, starring in a variety of successful films and television series. He became a household name with his role as Charlie Harper on the immensely popular sitcom Two and a Half Men. Known for his charismatic and often unpredictable persona, Sheen's performance earned him critical praise and a dedicated fan base. His ability to deliver both comedic and dramatic roles showcased his range, making him one of Hollywood's most recognizable and bankable stars during the late 2000s. However, Sheen's career took a tumultuous turn due to his struggles with substance abuse and erratic behavior. His public battles with addiction were widely covered by the media, revealing a side of Hollywood's glamour that is often hidden from the public eye. These personal challenges culminated in a series of public outbursts and derogatory comments about the show's creator, Chuck Lorre, leading to his dismissal from Two and a Half Men in 2011. The fallout from his behavior not only ended his tenure on the beloved series, but also led to a significant decline in his career prospects, as industry professionals distanced themselves from his volatile reputation. Despite the setbacks, Sheen has made sporadic attempts to revive his career, engaging in various projects and maintaining a presence in the entertainment world. He has ventured into reality television and continues to take on acting roles, albeit with less frequency and prominence than before. Sheen has also been candid about his struggles, using his platform to discuss the challenges of addiction and the importance of seeking help. 
While his prospects in Hollywood remain uncertain, Charlie Sheen remains a figure of fascination, embodying both the heights of celebrity success and the depths of personal turmoil. His story highlights the precarious nature of fame and the enduring impact of personal conduct on professional legacy. Jared Leto Jared Leto has established himself as a multifaceted talent in the entertainment industry, seamlessly blending his prowess in both acting and music. He garnered widespread acclaim for his transformative performance in Dallas Buyers Club, earning an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. Leto's dedication to his craft is evident in his method acting approach, where he immerses himself deeply into his characters, often undergoing significant physical and emotional changes to deliver authentic portrayals. Beyond his acting accolades, Leto is the lead vocalist, multi-instrumentalist and songwriter for the rock band 30 Seconds to Mars, which has achieved considerable success with albums like This Is War and Love, Lust, Faith and Dreams. In addition to his artistic endeavors, Jared Leto has demonstrated a keen interest in entrepreneurship and technology. He has made strategic investments in prominent technology companies such as Slack and Airbnb, showcasing his ability to diversify his portfolio beyond the entertainment realm. This entrepreneurial spirit reflects Leto's ambition to grow and evolve, both personally and professionally. His involvement in various business ventures highlights his understanding of the modern entertainment landscape, where cross-industry collaborations and investments are increasingly vital for sustained success. Despite his extensive achievements, Leto remains grounded and focused on personal growth. He has openly discussed his desire to explore new challenges and push the boundaries of his creativity, emphasizing that his passion for acting and music is driven by genuine love rather than a sense of destiny or fate. Leto's commitment to artistic integrity and his willingness to take risks have solidified his reputation as an influential and innovative figure in the entertainment industry. As he continues to navigate the complexities of fame and success, Jared Leto stands as a testament to the power of versatility and relentless pursuit of one's passions. Kat Dennings Kat Dennings rose to prominence with her memorable portrayal of Max Black on the hit CBS sitcom Two Broke Girls. Her sharp wit and impeccable comedic timing endeared her to audiences, making the show a staple of modern television. Dennings' ability to deliver humor with authenticity and charm contributed significantly to the show's success, establishing her as a beloved figure in the comedy genre. Beyond her role on Two Broke Girls, Dennings expanded her repertoire by taking on the role of Darcy Lewis in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, where she showcased her versatility by blending humor with a touch of quirkiness in a high-profile franchise. Despite her early successes, Dennings has experienced a noticeable decrease in her public presence since Two Broke Girls concluded in 2017. Her career pace slowed, and while she continued to work on projects like the Hulu pilot Dollface, her appearances in major films became less frequent. This step back from the limelight was influenced by personal choices including a high-profile breakup with musician Josh Groban in 2016, which drew significant media attention. However, Dennings remains optimistic about her career resurgence, expressing excitement about exploring new creative avenues and reinvigorating her presence in the entertainment industry. Kat Dennings' unique blend of humor and charisma continues to resonate with fans who eagerly anticipate her return to the small screen. Her potential comeback with projects like Dollface signals a new chapter in her career where she can further showcase her talents and perhaps take on more diverse and challenging roles. Denning's journey reflects the ebb and flow of an actor's career, highlighting her resilience and enduring appeal. As she navigates her path forward, Kat Dennings remains a cherished figure with her distinctive performances leaving a lasting impact on audiences and the broader landscape of television comedy. Bridget Fonda 
Bridget Fonda emerged as a prominent actress in the 1990s, captivating audiences with her versatile performances in films such as Single White Female and Jackie Brown. Her ability to portray complex and multifaceted characters earned her critical acclaim and a loyal fan base. Fonda's talent and screen presence solidified her status as a sought-after actress in Hollywood, allowing her to take on a diverse range of roles that showcased her depth and adaptability. Her performances not only highlighted her acting prowess, but also contributed to the success of the films she was part of, making her a memorable figure in the cinematic landscape of that era. In 2003, Fonda made the unexpected decision to retire from acting, a move that surprised both fans and industry insiders alike. This decision was influenced by a severe car accident that prompted her to reevaluate her priorities and focus on her personal life. That same year, she married film composer Danny Elfman, marking a significant shift in both her personal and professional life. Fonda chose to step away from the relentless pressures of Hollywood to embrace a more secluded and family-oriented existence. This transition underscored her commitment to prioritizing her well-being and family over the demands of a high-profile acting career. Since her retirement, Bridget Fonda has maintained a low public profile, choosing to live a private life away from the spotlight. She resides in Los Angeles with Elfman and their family, dedicating her time to her loved ones and personal interests. Despite her departure from the film industry, Fonda's legacy endures through her memorable performances and the impact she made during her active years. Her decision to step back from acting serves as a testament to the importance of personal fulfillment and the courage to redefine success on one's own terms. While fans may never see her on screen again, Bridget Fonda remains a respected and cherished figure in Hollywood history. Kevin Spacey Kevin Spacey established himself as one of Hollywood's most talented and versatile actors, renowned for his compelling performances in films like American Beauty, The Usual Suspects, and House of Cards. His ability to embody complex characters with depth and nuance earned him numerous accolades, including two Academy Awards for Best Actor and Best Supporting Actor. Spacey's commanding presence and exceptional acting skills made him a prominent figure in both film and television, securing his place as a respected and influential actor in the entertainment industry. His work not only showcased his range, but also left a lasting impression on audiences and critics alike. However, Spacey's career faced a dramatic downturn starting in 2017 when multiple allegations of sexual misconduct surfaced. The accusations, which emerged from various sources, led to widespread condemnation and significantly tarnished his public image. In response to the allegations, Netflix severed ties with him, and he was removed from the final season of House of Cards. Additionally, Many of his past projects were shelved or recast, and his reputation within the industry suffered irreparable damage. The scandal highlighted the broader issues of accountability and the number Me Too movement's impact on Hollywood, emphasizing the consequences of personal misconduct on professional standing. Despite the severe backlash, Spacey has made limited attempts to return to acting, though his opportunities remain scarce. He has kept a low profile, avoiding major roles and public appearances to mitigate further controversy. The legal battles stemming from the allegations continue to affect his career prospects, with ongoing lawsuits and settlements preventing a full rehabilitation of his image. Spacey's legacy is now a complex blend of his artistic achievements and the serious misconduct allegations that overshadowed his later years. His story serves as a poignant example of how personal actions can profoundly impact a public career, leaving a lasting mark on both his professional legacy and his standing in the entertainment world. Shelley Duvall Shelley Duvall was a celebrated actress renowned for her memorable performances in iconic films such as The Shining, Popeye, and Time Bandits. Her portrayal of Wendy Torrance in The Shining remains a standout in the horror genre, 
showcasing her ability to convey both vulnerability and strength. Duval's distinctive acting style and dedication to her craft earned her a cherished place in cinematic history, with her roles often characterized by their depth and emotional resonance. Throughout the 1980s and 1990s, she became a beloved figure in Hollywood, admired for her versatility and commitment to bringing complex characters to life on screen. Despite her successful acting career, Shelley Duvall chose to progressively withdraw from the public eye starting in the 1990s. Prioritizing her mental health over the relentless demands of Hollywood, Duvall expressed a desire for a more peaceful and secluded life. In 2003, she made the difficult decision to retire from acting entirely, relocating to Texas to embrace a tranquil existence away from the spotlight. This significant shift underscored her commitment to personal well-being and a life unburdened by the pressures of fame. Duvall's departure from the entertainment industry highlighted the importance of mental health and the courage it takes to step away from a successful career to pursue personal happiness. Tragically, Shelley Duvall died in July 2024 at the age of 75. Her legacy endures through her legendary roles and the lasting impact she made on audiences worldwide. Duvall's dedication to her craft and her decision to prioritize her mental health serve as an inspiring example of balancing professional success with personal fulfillment. Her extraordinary performances continue to be revered, ensuring that she remains a beloved and influential figure in the history of film. Duvall's life and career leave behind a testament to the enduring power of authentic and heartfelt acting. Amanda Bynes Amanda Bynes emerged as a prominent child star, winning over audiences with her charismatic performances on The Amanda Show and in films like What a Girl Wants and She's the Man. Her natural comedic talent and relatable persona made her a favorite among young viewers, establishing her as a versatile actress capable of handling both comedy and drama. Bynes's early success in the entertainment industry showcased her potential for longevity and influence, positioning her as one of the most promising young talents of her generation. However, Bynes's career faced significant challenges as she navigated the pressures of fame and personal struggles. In 2010, she announced her intention to retire from acting to focus on personal growth, a decision influenced by ongoing legal disputes and mental health concerns. Bynes openly grappled with substance misuse and emotional instability, which led to her being placed under conservatorship from 2013 until its termination in 2022. During this period, she candidly discussed her mental health journey, emphasizing the importance of seeking help and the difficulties faced by child stars growing up in the public eye. Her experiences highlighted the intense pressures of maintaining a career in the entertainment industry while managing personal well-being. Since the end of her conservatorship, Amanda Bynes has been on a path toward recovery and self-discovery. She has expressed a desire to return to the entertainment industry, though her future in acting remains uncertain. Bynes's story serves as a poignant reminder of the complexities involved in maturing under public scrutiny and the critical need for mental health support. Her resilience in overcoming personal adversities and her commitment to personal growth continue to inspire many. As she navigates the possibility of a comeback, Amanda Bynes remains a symbol of both the challenges and triumphs that come with life in the spotlight. Jessica Lang. Jessica Lange, born on April 20, 1949, is a distinguished actress renowned for her remarkable versatility and profound emotional depth. She first gained widespread recognition with her role in Tootsie, 1982, where her performance as Julie Nichols showcased her ability to blend humor with vulnerability. This breakthrough led to a series of acclaimed roles in films such as Francis, 1982, for which she received an Academy Award nomination, and Sweet Dreams, 1985, where her portrayal of country singer Patsy Cline earned her critical acclaim and a second Oscar nomination. 
Langa's commitment to her craft was further demonstrated in her performances in Blue Sky, 1994, and King Kong, 2005, both of which garnered her Academy Award nominations, highlighting her sustained excellence over decades. In addition to her illustrious film career, Jessica Lange made a significant impact on television with her role in the anthology series American Horror Story. Beginning with the first season, Murder House, 2011, Lang's powerful performances as Constance Langdon revitalized her career and introduced her to a new generation of fans. Her ability to portray complex and often dark characters with authenticity and intensity has made her a standout performer in the series. Beyond acting, Lang is also an accomplished photographer, having published several books that showcase her artistic vision and creative expression. Her dedication to both acting and photography underscores her multifaceted talents and her continuous pursuit of artistic fulfillment. Jessica Lang's legacy in the entertainment industry is marked by her exceptional range and unwavering commitment to her roles. With two Academy Awards and numerous nominations, her contributions to film and television have left an indelible mark on the industry. Langa's ability to convey deep emotional truths and her fearless approach to challenging roles have inspired countless actors and filmmakers. As she continues to select roles that resonate with her artistic sensibilities, Jessica Lang remains a revered figure in Hollywood, celebrated for her enduring talent and her profound influence on the art of acting. Her career serves as a testament to the power of dedication and the pursuit of excellence in the performing arts. Meg Ryan. Meg Ryan, born on November 19, 1961, emerged as one of the quintessential actresses of the 1990s, particularly in the romantic comedy genre. Her breakout role in When Harry Met Sally, 1989, established her as America's sweetheart, showcasing her impeccable timing and charming on-screen presence. This success was followed by a series of beloved films such as Sleepless in Seattle, 1993, and You've Got Mail, 1998, where her performances as relatable, endearing characters endeared her to millions of fans worldwide. Ryan's ability to portray complex emotions with grace and authenticity made her a staple in romantic comedies, earning her both critical acclaim and commercial success. Beyond her iconic romantic roles, Meg Ryan demonstrated her versatility by taking on more dramatic projects, such as Courage Under Fire, 1996, and When a Man Loves a Woman, 1994. These roles allowed her to explore deeper emotional landscapes and showcase her range as an actress. Despite her success in film, Ryan began to shift her focus away from acting in the late 2000s, choosing to prioritize her personal life and explore other creative avenues. Her decision to step back from the spotlight was driven by a desire for a more balanced and fulfilling life, free from the pressures of Hollywood fame. In recent years, Ryan has also ventured into directing, marking a new chapter in her career and allowing her to express her creative vision from behind the camera. Meg Ryan's impact on the romantic comedy genre remains enduring, with her films continuing to resonate with audiences decades later. Her ability to create memorable and heartfelt characters has left a lasting legacy in Hollywood, influencing a generation of actors and filmmakers. While she may have stepped away from acting to focus on personal growth and new creative pursuits, Ryan's contributions to cinema are celebrated and cherished. Her graceful transition from leading lady to behind-the-scenes creative further exemplifies her multifaceted talent and commitment to evolving as an artist. Meg Ryan remains a beloved figure in the entertainment industry, her legacy secured by a body of work that continues to inspire and captivate audiences around the world. Michael Scheffling. Michael Scheffling became a recognizable face in the 1980s, primarily due to his role as Jake Ryan in the beloved teen classic Sixteen Candles, 1984. 
His portrayal of the charming and unattainable high school heartthrob resonated with audiences, making him a staple in the teen romance genre. Schufling's good looks and on-screen charisma earned him roles in other notable films, such as Mermaids, 1990, where he starred alongside Cher and Winona Ryder, and Wild Hearts Can't Be Broken, 1991, a family-friendly adventure film that showcased his versatility as an actor. These roles solidified his status as a leading man in Hollywood during that era. Despite his early success, Schofling chose to step away from the limelight in the early 1990s. Citing a desire for a more fulfilling and balanced life, he decided to retire from acting to focus on his personal interests and family. This decision marked a significant shift from his burgeoning career in the entertainment industry to a quieter, more private existence. Shuffling relocated to Pennsylvania, where he pursued his passion for woodworking and furniture making, demonstrating a commitment to craftsmanship and creativity beyond the silver screen. Since retiring from acting, Michael Schufling has maintained a low public profile, rarely appearing in the media or pursuing roles in film and television. His departure from the entertainment world has left fans nostalgic for his memorable performances, but he has expressed no intention of returning to acting. Instead, Schofling has found contentment in his new pursuits, valuing personal fulfillment and craftsmanship over the pressures and demands of Hollywood fame. His legacy remains intact through his iconic roles, and he is fondly remembered by audiences who cherished his contributions to 1980s cinema. Linda Fiorentino Linda Fiorentino made a significant impact in Hollywood during the late 1980s and 1990s with her captivating performances in a variety of genres. She gained critical acclaim for her role in The Last Seduction, 1994, where her portrayal of Bridget Gregory, a cunning and manipulative femme fatale, earned her praise for her intense and nuanced acting. Fiorentino continued to showcase her range in films like Men in Black, 1997, where she played Laura Vasquez alongside Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones, and Vision Quest, 1885, a coming-of-age drama that highlighted her ability to convey deep emotional resonance. Despite her success and the diverse roles she undertook, Fiorentino made the conscious decision to retire from acting in the early 2000s. Her departure was motivated by a desire to lead a more private and fulfilling life, away from the constant scrutiny of the public eye. Fiorentino chose to focus on her personal well-being and family, stepping back from the demands of a high-profile acting career. This decision allowed her to explore interests beyond Hollywood, embracing a life that prioritized tranquility and personal satisfaction over continued fame. Since retiring, Linda Fiorentino has remained largely out of the public spotlight, choosing to live a secluded life in Los Angeles with her family. She has not indicated any interest in returning to acting, preferring instead to enjoy a peaceful existence away from the hustle and bustle of the entertainment industry. Fiorentino's legacy is preserved through her memorable performances, which continue to be celebrated by fans and critics alike. Her choice to step away from acting serves as an inspiring example of prioritizing personal happiness and well-being over the pursuit of sustained fame, leaving behind a lasting impression through her artistic contributions to film. We hope you found these stories as fascinating and inspiring as we did. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the lives of some of Hollywood's most intriguing figures, please give this video a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear which celebrities you wish would make a comeback and why. Don't forget to support us by subscribing to the Famous People channel and hitting the notification bell to stay updated with more engaging and insightful content. Your support helps us bring you the stories and insights you love.